Hi there, Joey from DayJobHacks.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about 14 ways to avoid getting banned on Facebook ads. Now I've been running Facebook ads for many, many years. I've never seen it more inconsistent with account bans than I have this year. Um, a lot of bans happening and many times I'm getting my account back simply by appealing and asking them to make sure they review it again as a human. So their bot and their automation has been very wonky lately, banning accounts left and right. So how can you avoid that and how can you ensure when you do appeal that you win your account back well I'm gonna talk about that right now let's go into number one the first thing I do when I get a Facebook ad account is I make sure that the business is verified now if you cannot do that then there's one red flag immediately on your account so make sure you go into the settings of your business manager and verify your actual business the next thing you're gonna to want to do is you're going to want to verify your domain name you can also do that in the business manager settings this allows you to go in and tell Facebook that you actually own the domain that you're going to be sending traffic to from your advertising um, campaigns, okay? So to do that, you go in there, again, click on the links to verify domain and make sure you put the code onto your domain into your server. All of the instructions are there. I'm not gonna go into that right now, but make sure you do that step. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure you're using a real name on the Facebook account and it's a real person. Um, if you're using fake accounts, this is gonna be very hard for you going forward Facebook is getting much better at knowing your account is fake. They have ways of determining that. I'm sure they already know many accounts are fake and still let them go for some reason, but um, make sure you, um, you're you a real person. Your account is constantly being used by a real person and you're actively engaged in Facebook the way it's intended to be used. That means going into your personal profile, liking pages, commenting, being a real person, okay? That is a, an important one. Number four, before you actually start running ads, whether it's as an affiliate marketer or as a product owner, you're going to want to warm up your Facebook account, okay? Your Facebook ad account needs to be warmed up. Now, I'm gonna talk about a few other steps on how to get your account active, but first of all, when you're running ads, don't go straight into a high aggressive conversions objective and start trying to run this immediately, okay? It's just going to result in instant flags. Facebook has a way of protecting themselves by ensuring that people don't just come into the platform and start blasting massive spend to non-compliant campaigns. So there are certain triggers that have to happen before you can start spending a lot of money and getting a lot of traffic to your website. For example, they'll bill you a certain amount. So make sure that your credit card is ready to spend. It's all connected properly and that Facebook is able to take money from your credit card. The last thing you want is for them to, to you know, see an ad running and then they try to bill you and then it's declined, okay? That'll immediately flag your account. Next, never direct link to affiliate programs, okay? And this is a big one. A lot of new affiliates come in. They think they can just direct link to ClickBank offers or direct link to a network offer from a CPA network. This will result in pretty much an Instaban. Um, a lot of these domains and, and URLs are flagged already. They have tons of redirects and you're just going to result and it's just going to result in an instant ban on your Facebook account and you probably will not win an appeal if you go in with direct linking. So make sure you build a pre-sell. I'm gonna talk about that here in a second about what your pre-sell needs to make sure that you're not banned because of your pre-sell page. So next, let's talk about redirects and tracking links. We do not use tracking links on Facebook, at least I don't, and it's resulted in multiple um, bans for the reason that Facebook thinks I'm trying to circumvent their system by using redirects. So what I've been using is parallel tracking or direct tracking. All of the third-party platforms out there for affiliate marketers should have direct tracking. The one I use is CPV Lab Pro, and that is a great program for Facebook. I find it tracks all of my direct traffic with a simple piece of code on my landing page, which is also, um, using the exact same domain name as a, a, the page that I'm sending traffic to, okay? So make sure you're using direct tracking, no redirect links. Let's take a quick break. If you like this type of video, please make sure you click subscribe down below. I do tons of videos every single week about media buying, how to get traffic to your website, how to make money online, affiliate marketing, all that fun stuff. Make sure you subscribe, click the little bell icon. Okay, next.
Let's talk about trigger keywords. These are keywords that will either instantly ban you or automatically get your ads rejected. Okay, there are many topics out there, many keywords that are already instantly going to be flagged by the bot. Uh, make sure you, you go on Google, search for these keywords. There's tons of articles out there that give you a list of these keywords. For example, um, lose weight fast, dating, adult related keywords, gambling, all of those types of keywords in your ads or in your landing page can be detected and could result in an instant ban of your account. So again, just go even look at Facebook's um, terms of service. You'll see many topics, just avoid them altogether. Next is the images and videos. You cannot use copied images and videos. Most of the time these images, if you find good images that look great, somebody's probably already used it and could have been already been, been banned on Facebook, which means Facebook will be able to detect that you're using the exact same image as someone else who either got banned or you're copying them and whatever it is, they're just going to flag your account or your ads and you're going to have to go through the process of trying to get it back, okay? So just use original photos. Do not use graphic, um, violent photos. Avoid a lot of skin in your videos. So if you're doing diet ads, make sure you don't have a lot of skin showing. Now you're gonna be like, hey, I see these ads all the time. Why, why are you saying this? Well, that's probably because they've warmed up their accounts. They've done a ton of work on getting their account to a point where they can actually get ads approved automatically and so that's why that's happening but if you're just starting out and you're just using a fresh account this is not going to work for you just avoid those types of images and videos altogether for example even using a, a picture of a car crash I've seen um, some of my auto insurance ads on Facebook get instantly banned because of the images where you're using a picture of a car accident or something like that, which kind of um, brings down the user experience. People don't like that. Facebook can detect that and away you go. There goes your account. Now you have to appeal and ask for it back. The next one is logging in from multiple different locations and IP addresses. You want to make sure that when you're using your Facebook account, you look like a real user. Um, so that's okay if you go on your phone a lot or if you go on your computer at home a lot. But if you start logging in from multiple different locations all the time, they're going to think you're using a program that is going to be switching IP automatically or dynamically. Um, this can oftentimes flag your account, especially if you start submitting ads and doing technical stuff in your ad account constantly from different IP addresses. So try to make sure you are staying at home or on the same computer at least. Um, if you're using a dynamic IP and you can't change that because of your service provider, that's fine. That'll be okay as long as you're using residential IPs and you're not on some type of VPN or you know fake IPs that you're buying from a place like Hide My Ass or something. This brings me to my next point, which is when you add your credit card, you make sure that you're using the same computer and a residential IP. The same IP that you likely signed up with would be the best scenario. However, if you cannot use the same IP, it should still be from the same computer when you add your credit card and make sure when you add your credit card that the location of your credit card and the billing address is the same as your business address or your business city at least, okay? If you start adding a credit card from say Detroit and your business is located in Canada, um, you're gonna probably face a little bit of um, scrutiny from Facebook and you're probably gonna result in a ban that you'll have to appeal. Next is we want to always delete ads that got disapproved. This is a one of those subjects that some people agree with and some people disagree with. I say get rid of the ads immediately off of your account. Don't have those sitting there for when the next human review comes in and they see all these ads that are disapproved. This will um, likely give them a false sense of what your account is about and they'll look at it and they'll think, wow, you know what, I'm just gonna avoid this guy altogether and I'm gonna ban his account. Um, at the same time, maybe the automated system can detect this as well, that you have too many disapproved ads in your account and away you go, bye-bye. Next, we wanna talk about niches that will immediately trigger a ban, okay? Avoid them all together, especially if you're not warmed up yet and you don't have a lot of spend on your account, you don't have an ad rep, all of these things. If you're just starting out, avoid place, uh, niches like diet, gambling, um, which is also banned anyway, but um, diet, for some reason, uh, triggers a ban almost instantly. Uh, dating, 
crypto, CBD, all these great niches that everybody talks about that they're making tons of money are the ones that are likely going to get you banned. People are cloaking. They're doing very technical stuff in the back end to get these approved. If you don't know that system, then you're not going to, you're not going to get approved. You're going to immediately lose your Facebook account. So avoid them all together, even if they hint towards those subjects at all. Um, you need to be extremely careful with your ad copy and your images and everything else and make sure everything is in line before you even attempt to run those types of niches on Facebook. Next, you're going to want to track and monitor the negative feedback on your ads, your comments, and in your account quality settings. Inside the business manager, you can click in the menu and you can actually look at your account quality and see what's happening day to day with certain ads, what people are saying. Look at the comments. If you see one ad that is getting a lot of negative comments, it's recommended you pause that ad and get rid of it, okay? Um, if you can't reply to people and get them back into a happy sentiment, in the comments, then you need to get rid of that ad, okay? Because you are going to get negative feedback, and again, this will result in a, in a ban on your Facebook account. Sometimes you can change the tone of your ads and the and the and the actual feedback just by changing some words, changing some images, and responding to bad and negative comments in a happy tone, okay? So try that, and before you ban, before you delete your ads if they're working, try to first fix a few things and that is why we test, test, test to make sure we're getting ads that are giving us good quality and you can see that when you start looking at your reports. The next one is a very important one is your actual pre-sell or landing page, your website. Your website is going to be crawled by Facebook as soon as you submit it for an ad, okay? So if it's not verified, like I mentioned before, that'll immediately trigger um, you know, one bad mark on your account. Now, whether it triggers a ban or not, it may, it may not ban you, but next they're going to be crawling your content. They're gonna be looking at the keywords that you're using, they are going to be able to tell if your images are copied they will know if you have legal pages attached so make sure you have your legal pages that means a privacy policy terms and conditions how to contact you you're gonna want a disclaimer at the bottom of every single page you have that says this is not Facebook endorsed or whatever, Facebook is not endorsing this website. It's the Facebook disclaimer. In fact, if you just check the description below, I will put the actual disclaimer I use from Facebook uh, for Facebook ads and I put this on all of my pages to make sure that it's there just to show um, professionalism as well as they like to see it there, okay? So make sure you have a lot of great content on your website. It is. Um, making people happy when they come to your website because again, this is gonna come down to user experience. Facebook is able to determine if your website is going to automatically, you know, make people unhappy. They have a way of knowing, trust me. They have a lot of systems in place that can tell. So just make it a good website, give a lot of content and make sure your headlines and your calls to action and your images and everything else is congruent with the ad so that when people get there, they see what they're expecting and this will make their user experience better. If you try and switch or bait and switch or do anything like that, you're going to immediately get bad comments. People are gonna put the little angry face on your ads and you're going to eventually lose your account. Um, another thing, make sure you have no exit pops, no ways of trapping them. I even don't, I don't even put the, uh, a little um, subscriber, subscribe to my push list or anything like that. I just avoid all of that together and I go straight with a nice friendly page, good tracking, no triggered links, no scammy little scripts or anything like that, okay? And that should help with user experience. So those are the main tips of how to avoid getting your account banned. Now what happens when you actually get banned? What can you do to get your account back? Most of the time, if you fix the problems first before you go back and appeal the account, you can get your account back, assuming you haven't violated some of the deadly sins of Facebook, like promoting gambling or crypto or something crazy like that. Um, if you're legitimately trying to run Facebook ads and you're legitimately doing everything compliant and you're trying and maybe they picked off a little thing, you can usually get your account back by appealing. If you lose the first appeal, go back and appeal again. Appeal at least three times, I would say, um, before they probably just shut you down anyway and won't let you appeal anymore. But again, you can also use their live chat. They have a chat service with their support channel. Lastly, the, the 
most uh, aggressive way would be to actually try and get a hold of a, an ad rep, but that usually doesn't work because they have access to only certain accounts. Um, at that point, you might be you might be screwed, and you might have to try and, and get an account somewhere else, or maybe use your your brother or sister's account or someone else's account. Okay, those are all little things that you have to consider later. But the last thing you want to do is be using someone else's account, um, especially if you're trying to build a legitimate business on Facebook. So again, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, share your own tips, please below on how you protect your Facebook ad account, what troubles you're having with your Facebook account, all those things, and we'll see you uh, next week.